Marathi cinema refers to Indian films produced in Marathi, the language of the state of Maharashtra, India. Based in Old Mumbai, it is the oldest and one of the pioneer film industries of India. The first Marathi film to be released in India was Shri Pundalik by Dadasaheb Torna on 18 May 1912 at Coronation Cinematograph, Mumbai, and a Marathi crew who were performing Marathi and Sanskrit Sangeet Natikas musicals and plays in Marathi at that period. The first Marathi Taki film, Ayodhya Raja, was released in 1932, just one year after Alam era the first Hindi Taki. Although the industry is much smaller than the large market-driven Hindi cinema based in Mumbai, Marathi cinema is tax-free, and is experiencing growth in recent years. Raja Harish Chandra, directed by Dadasaheb Falk, was a Marathi film, now known as India's first full-length feature, released in 1913. The Dadasaheb Falk Award is India's highest award in cinema given annually by the government of Maharashtra for lifetime contribution to Indian cinema. History Silent movies period Marathi cinema is the oldest form of Indian cinema. The first Marathi movie released in India was Shri Pundalik by Dadasaheb Torna on 18 May 1912 at Coronation Cinematograph, Mumbai. Dadasaheb Falk is known as the first pioneer and founder of cinema in pre independence India. He brought the revolution of moving images to India with his first indigenously made film Raja Harish Chandra in 1913, which is considered by IFFI and NIFD as part of Marathi cinema as it was made by a Marathi dialogues while shooting and fully Marathi crew. Kolhapur in western Maharashtra was another centre of active film production in the 20s. In 1919 Baburao Mystery—popularly known as Baburao Painter, formed the Maharashtra Film Company with the blessings of the Maharaja of Kolhapur and released the first significant historical Sirandari with Balasheb Pawar, Kamala Devi and Zunzarao Pawar in stellar roles. Because of his special interest in sets, costumes, design and painting, he chose episodes from Maratha history for interpreting in the new medium and specialized in the historical genre. Baburao Painter made many silent movies till 1930. However, after a few more silent films, the Maharashtra Film Company pulled down its shutters with the advent of sound. Babu Rao was not particularly keen on the talkies for he believed that they would destroy the visual culture so painfully evolved over the years. <laughs> after advent of sound As cinema grew in Union of India, major production houses rose and one of them was again a company owned wholly by Maharashtrians, the Prabhat Film Company. Prabhat's San Tukaram was the first Indian work to win the Best Film Award at the Venice Film Festival in 1937. In 1954 at the very first edition of the National Awards, Shyamchi Ai another Marathi film, won the first President's Gold Medal for Cinema. It was directed by Acharya P. K. Atra, and it was an adaptation of the eponymous novel by Sain Guruji. The Golden Era Marathi cinema was in its full bloom by this time with the advent of greats like V. Shantaram, Master Vinayak, Balji Pendharkar, Acharya Atra, followed by Raja Paranjpe, Jyotiram, Sonal and Mumtaz, Dinkar D. Padal, G. D. Madgulkar, Sadir Fadke, Raja Thakur. The 1960s saw the emergence of directors like Anant Main who made Marathi films based on the folk art form Tamasha. Then came directors like Datta Dharmadakari and Raj Dutt who made traditional family dramas. The early 70s saw the advent of Dada Konki who captured the audiences with his sense of humor. He went on to create satirical, pun-ridden films often including social and political commentary, many of which became cult classics. By this time Marathi cinema was caught in either the Tamasha genre or tragedies revolving around traditional family dramas on one side and the comedies of Dada Konki. Topic. 1980s The 1980s saw two comedy heroes catapult to stardom, Ashok Seraf and Lakshmikant Bird. Around the mid-80s two young actors donned the director's mantle, Mahesh Kothare and Sachin Pilgonkar. 
Pilgankar directed Navri Mile Navriala and around the same time Mahesh Kothare directed Damdadaka. Pilgankar's film was a box office hit while Mahesh Kothare's became a mega hit at the box office, became a trend setter, and brought young audiences to Marathi cinema. Mahesh Kothare went on to make comedy films that became major hits. He made the first Marathi film shot on the anamorphic format Cinemascope, Dadakebaz. He brought a number of innovations in the technical quality of Marathi films and was the first to bring Dolby digital sound to Marathi cinema with Chimney Pakara. He made the first Marathi film with digital special effects, Pachadala, in 2004. He also made first Marathi movie in 3D Zapatlela 2, in 2013. The 3D of this film was highly appreciated and technically this film was extremely well made. This film also went on to become a blockbuster. Currently Mahesh Kothare is working on Zapatlela 3. This for the first time that a franchise has emerged in Marathi cinema. Topic. Reasons for the decline of Marathi cinema While the theatre of Maharashtra earned recognition at the national level, the cinema failed to make a mark. A major reason was the proximity to the production centre of Hindi cinema Bollywood, which encroached on the identity of Marathi cinema. Other reasons include the shortage of cinema halls for distribution due to poor marketing, lack of money magnets, a vibrant theatre scene and the emergence of private television. It also lacked the powerful lobby at the national level unlike Bengali and South Indian cinema because state congress ruling party over 40 years encouraged Hindi cinema for profit mainly the regional film industrial advantage being soaked up by Bollywood Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Revival Marathi New Wave In past few years, the Marathi cinema industry has produced many films that are not only critically acclaimed but commercially successful as well. It has brought fresh ideas, untouched subjects and deeper human sensitivity on the celluloid. Acclaimed director Dr. Jabbar Patel explains the reasons behind the change. The kind of Marathi cinema that is being made today is very fresh and different. This is thanks to directors and writers getting exposed to world cinema via television, film festivals etc. They are coming up with new storylines and innovative concepts." Actor Rinal Kulkarni remarks, "...there is a lot of content and variety in Marathi films. A lot of bold subjects have been handled well by them. They carry a lot of substance." But, she adds, "...we need to start watching a lot more Marathi films." Until we see the films ourselves, we will never be able to appreciate them when they are sent to the Oscars." With outstanding contribution and efforts from different producers and directors of the Mumbai film industry, Marathi cinema relatively outshined other Indian film industries such as Bollywood in the first quarter of 2010 in box office collections and critical appreciation. Contemporary. Marathi cinema received critical acclaim in 2004 with the film Schwaz winning the Golden Lotus National Award. It was India's official entry to the 77th Academy Awards. It won the President's Medal for Best Film, beating Bollywood's prolific output with quality. Schwaz was the second Marathi film to win the President's Medal after Shyamchi Ai the Maharashtra state government has begun to issue grants to Marathi film between 1.5 million and 3.0 million rupees. After the success of Schwaz, Indian media players like Shringar Films and Z Telefilms are exhibiting a re-emerging interest in Marathi cinema. The growing popularity of Marathi television, notably Z Marathi and ETV Marathi, has helped to popularize older Marathi cinema and promote the genre. Z Takis, a 24-hour channel dedicated to Marathi movies, has been introduced. In 2009, Marathi film Harishandracha Factory with a budget of Rs. 6 crore, depicting the struggle of Dadasaheb Falk in making Raja Harish Chandra in 1913, India's first feature film, directed by theatre veteran Paresh Makashi was selected as India's official entry to Academy Award in the Best Foreign Language Film category, making it the second Marathi film, after Schwaz, to receive this honour. 2009 saw the blockbuster musical movie Natarang, which both commercial and critical applause and has served as a path-breaking movie for Marathi cinema. 
Since the new decade beginning in 2010, several contemporary Marathi artistic films released including Umesh Vinayak Kulkarni's Vahir and Deool, and Nagraj Manjul's Fandri. They have given a new direction to Marathi films. Deool became the third movie after Shyamchi Ai and Schwaz to win the National Film Award for Best Feature Film Sayrat 2016 musical romantic drama starring Rinku Rajguru and Akash Thosar, directed by Nagraj Manjul and produced by Nagraj Manjul, Nitin Kenny, and Nikhil Sain emerged as the biggest weekend opener for a Marathi film breaking record previously held by Natsamrat. Sayrat was the first Marathi film to cross 50 crore rupees $7.8 million mark. The film has become the first Marathi film to gross over 100 crore rupees $16 million worldwide. Also it ran for more than 100 days in many centers of Maharashtra. Awards Filmfare Awards Maharashtra State Awards Nowadays Marathi movies have been listed at lots of international film festival and all lights film services, which provides a platform for such movies and the filmmakers to know big in the world film industry. All lights film services provided platform for various famous Marathi films such as Pinky, Exathyakatha, Kapis Kandiachi Goshta, Huda Jarasa Yushir, Sapanchi I Bahina Bai, Turing Takis, Langar to almost all leading international festivals across the world including Oscar. Highest grossing Marathi films National Film Awards Further reading Marathi cinema, in retrospect, by Sanjit Narwakar. Maharashtra Film, Stage and Cultural Development Corp., 1995. See also List of Marathi films List of Marathi cinema actresses <laughs> <laughs>